We're now going to fit the waist and the overflow to this bath. And before you do that, you need to remove the masking from the area because it's almost impossible to get it out afterwards. So if you just peel back an area, you don't need to remove all the masking. You can uh, leave the rest of the masking on your bath. So that's the waist unit and it's a pop-up waist so when you press it, it closes, press it again it pops up and this is the overflow part of it. Uh, we do actually need to cut this hose to length once we get it in position but before we do that we need to unscrew this part and if you look at the top here that's just actually pushed on there, it's just push fit and personally I don't like taking any chances with things like that so I'm going to put some plumber's gold on the inside and push that back on and there's absolutely no chance that ever popping back off accidentally. So I'm just going to put a seal of plumber's gold around that just to make sure that it never pops off. So now I'm going to push the overflow pipe back on there with a twisting motion and that should ensure that that never accidentally pops off. So this is the outside of the overflow and in it goes a ceiling ring and it's immediately obvious which way around it goes because it is shaped to actually fit snugly into it. So once you've located that you can then push that up there into position and then you need to separate the, the chrome cover into two parts and you can do that just by pulling it and once you've done that you can then screw this component into the threaded part into the centre ensuring that it's in the actual centre of the hole so I'll just screw that in there and I'll just nip that up tight with our fingers And then once you've done that you can just plug the chrome cover into it. If you look in there you'll see a spigot and if you actually press that and pull you can actually get the waste part out which comes out like that. So you can just leave that out for the minute. And then we just need to unscrew that part. So I'm going to push that in there I'm going to seal it in using some plumber's gold around the edge and then I'm going to have a wonder wipe ready to wipe off any excess. This plumber's gold is a, a clear sealant that's designed for this kind of use and it also contains a microban so it's unlikely that it'll ever discolour. So I'm just going to run a nice bead around the inside there. Doesn't matter if it's too much on because we'll wipe off any excess. So I'm now going to place that through the centre. So I'm now going to run a bead of plumber's gold on the inside of this seal just as a precaution because the last thing we want is a leak. So I've now stuck that onto the end of the waist and that's now ready to screw up on the underside of the waist fitting. But I'm also going to put a smear of plumber's gold on that edge as well. So I'm now going to screw the waist fitting up onto the component that's sticking through the bath. So 
So I'm now reaching inside the bath and I'm now tightening the actual waste from inside the bath so that I keep the waste connector in this direction for the overflow. And you can see that some plumber's gold has been forced out in some areas and not in others. So for that reason, I'm just gonna run a bead of plumber's gold around there and seal it with my finger. And then on the inside, we're just gonna remove any excess plumber's gold using a wonder wipe. So then I'm just going to push the overflow pipe onto there, make sure it's pushed in fully, push the seal in and then I'm just going to run the nut down and tighten the nut up and that should be the waste connected to the bath then. We can then put the trap on 